I mean, look at Jeray Foster. I mean, this is some NBA stuff. Come on. Punch. Kodak moment for Mr. Rays. I feel bad for number 12, but he's going to. Wow. How about that? You know what? That's just one of those moves where you don't have an answer for it. No. Odo Embo now with 10 in the ball game. To the hole. No. Slapped up again by Foster. He's got 19. Down the wooden stay down, and there's a rebound for Oshula. SMU's getting that player down there. And... Wow. Hello, Jeray Foster. Putting on a dumb show. And that one missed, pulled by Milton. Milton, the long turn. Foster finishes it off. into a turnover as SMU gets a steal. Straight to the basket. Left and he looked at me like I had three eyes. It's like, are you kidding me? Of course. Now. And it forces another Temple turnover. And Foster throws it down. Childress trying to bounce it to Hart. And another steal for SMU. Amelago two on one with Foster. He's kept his head up. Tremendous individual on and off the court as Foster, the thunderous dunk to put him up. Very beneficial. Rideau with a steal, and then Amelagoo, Ali you Jeray Foster. I mean, Tulsa, again, you said it, they're eight made. They, they should... oh, oh, right. Brown still not fouling of the Knights. Brown penetrates over the top of the slam. Four point swing, and we're tied again, this time at 37. Back to our law. Facility, and also to the training. They get down low and they move. Oh! Oh! Jeray Foster throwing it down. Foster attacking down the baseline. And Has to save it, but right into the hands of Milton. So the Mustangs run. Foster yells his way in for the dunk. Get the alley to go. It's, it's not a smart play by the freshman. Their celebration. And the chance have started. They're faithful in the house here in Hartford. Foster with the slam. Get any second opportunity so far. And right now in this zone, defense can exploit a couple of the weaknesses. The best collection of talent for Coach Rob Murphy in his sixth year. Former Jim Beheim assistant there. And in shooting percentage and in three-point shooting at 40%. So they know how to do that. Shade, hopefully the twisted ankles won't happen. Catching the flu won't happen. And, uh... More to Ojale. The short but the putback. Lost on the fifth turnover. That was Michael Young trying too hard. And there's a follow up dunk. The shot clock a factor for him a few times today. Two big steps from. Henderson banks it home. Jimmy Ojale, only two points in the ball game, but he has not hit a field goal. Foster on the drive. Still searching for it. He provided that. A nice action away. 35 pounds running the ball down like that. And he's on his way to being first team all conference if he keeps this up. First half. 14 to 3 SMU run. They've made their last five field goals. Make it. Solid defense also by Tulsa, man-to-man -man variety. Foster baseline. Been a quiet half for Shemi Ojale, who's been terrific in this tournament. Most we've heard from him is you want tape with him. Foster airborne, yeah, he got that to go. at his feet once he did kind of experience with 10 new players foster on the block there's a chance he might show up for the championship game today such a great supporter of the mustang program they're going to get it downstairs for foster man to man now on the part of tulsa you being a little more deliberate on the offensive end Foster. Got it. 
two-point difference. Ben Moore had, ben Moore had four blocks last night, but the way Albany is playing against the Mustangs this possession. It's a little taste of the athleticism of Ogilvy. Foster for three. Yes! Able to hit that three. Jeray Foster gets it back for SMU. Including the last two games. Foster off the curl. One thing about SMU not having a deep bench is you can't really substitute out for energy. Back into the zone. They don't want to give those sight lines and driving. Force them to make shots for Vernon and see if they can rebound the ball. Now to Moore. Three to shoot. Moore has to hurry. Outside Foster from deep. Got it! They're not the only ones guilty of that. Yes, we all are. <laughs> Ogilvy's really heated up here in the last five or six minutes. Foster with a three. He sinks it. And you know, in the eyes of people in the league, you have the top team in the league and one of the bottom teams in the league. So listen, let's just go play. Let's play hard. Let's play together. Let's have some fun. Let's not worry about the score. Down in the easy finish for the Mustangs. Off the foul. The Mustangs. Passed up a layup for the three. Moore, double, kick, Foster, huge three, knocks it down! Foster for three, yes. Shake Milton, drives, outside to Foster, and got it, that's a good job of sealing, creating two-on-one opportunities after the screen. There's Foster, we've seen him go. Guarding him and Fabio Moore, not a lot of minutes. They may want to challenge him. It ends up being a great look. And he's got rid of it before he lost the footing. Jackson corrals despite the amount of And there is. Saw the huge block by Jare Foster, and it was a clean block up top with that right arm. But this on Vance Jackson, the taunting, ended up drawing a technical foul. Feel in his arm and hand. Yeah, there was nerve damage to his arm. He almost wasn't going to be able to play basketball again if that. Okay. Milton coming off the season high 17 against TCU a week ago as Foster for TCU. And they won't get it up. Shake 35% from beyond the arc coming in. 43% his freshman year. Good to see him improve from. Jackson the freshman offensive foul Jackson these guys play with each other and making the unselfish play is special offensively Van Beck to Robinson who drives who will shot clock at two a foul cold uh, lost it though and Pat Burke comes up with it for Tulsa Taplin Ojale with a good job. The shot clock does not reset. Seven to shoot. Bain moving in. Offensive foul. Tulsa not able to weather that score. This time it's Tulsa with a steal. Pat Bird ends up with it. And now he's lost it. A scramble forward on the ground. And they. 